Here's what's happened so far. The search for the remaining orbs continues and having followed the tragic tale of Kai and Michelle's ill-fated interspecies trites through its conclusion, the party set out to sea to try and use Lorelei's harp to reach the underwater nation of Nautica, where they hope to undercover some clues of where the whereabouts of the giant pearl that sank beneath the waves. The harp works and the salty stallion descends safely to the ocean floor. Once there, the party are granted an audience with Queen Marina and inform her of Michelle's unfortunate f As a mark of gratitude for their having gone to such to help one of her subjects, she presents them with the green orb as a reward. Their goal in going to... Going there achieved the friends set out to Nautica to seek the remaining oars with the Queen's parting words still ringing in their ears. All roads lead to the great tree of life and to the tree return. Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Dragon Quest XI. Last time, we arrived here in this land. Right here, as you see that little star, by taking care of our quest that Michelle gave us. We reported to the Queen, we got a harp, and we went into one of these portal things, and it transported us here. This land is pretty big, and there's apparently an orb near. And we arrived in the academy where everybody, where the, hmm, the lady earlier in the story in the port, the Spanish port, told us that if we wanted more prizes, this would be the place to go. Anyway, before we venture off and obviously explore, we're going to head down this well and see what is in here. Wait a second. There's something over there, but... Explore the dead ends first. Royal soil. There's a chest. Enchanted stone. We're pretty advanced in the story, though. This... What? Hello there. Do you want to hear something that's going to blow your mind? This is actually the holiday home of a mini metal loving monarch. He comes to stay whenever he wants to get in touch with how a mini metal feels hidden away in the shadows. Rich people have such chilly ideas all the slime. <laughs> There's nothing here. You lied to me. Never mind, he's not lie, there's a mini metal here. Alright, let's grab that. Thank you, Mr. Slime, you are very helpful. You're welcome. Everybody, please thank Mr. Slime. Say thank you, Mr. Slime. One, two, three. Thank you, Mr. Slime. You're not supposed to say it, too. Oh. Were those things for me? Yes, they're my viewers. They're saying hi. What are viewers? Well, you see, there are people that watch us, and they enjoy you. Really? Yeah. I'm guy. Oh, don't cry now, Mr. Slime. But I'm going to leave. Take care on your journey. I will. Thank you. All right. We having that monologue. How do YouTubers? Okay. <laughs> it's still kind of awkward for me talking. Uh, I'm used to talking to myself recording videos. Oh, I can step on these, but I don't want oh, that's pretty. It's still awkward and new for me, but I'm getting the hang of it, and I honestly have fun with this. Brass? Ah, there it is. Sleeping hibiscus. There's a quest over here. Are you okay, ma'am? Um, I'm Zazzy, the leader of the roughest, toughest girl gang in the academy. We live by a single rule. Don't do bad things to good people, but stuff the rest of them. Problem is, I've got a broken it. Have you met Madam Wallop, my form teacher? She's one of the good guys, but I, er, uh, accidentally stole her favorite whip and threw it down the, er, uh, you know... She might seem all sweetness and light, but when she gets angry, she's seriously scary. 
If she finds out what I've done, she'll have my guts regardless. If I could get a replacement, I might be able to get out this without too much trouble, but it turns out only you can make them with a fun-sized forge. I might as well face it, I'm stuffed. Hold on, you're some kind of globetrotting adventurer, right? You haven't had to pick up a fun-sized forge on your travels, have you? If you have, it would be amazing if you could help me out. Well, will you make me a new whip for Madam Wallop? Three many medals, alright. Thanks a million, let's get started then, shall we? I found a set of instructions for making the same type of whip in the library. Here you go. Lashings of class. Queen's whip. Madam Wallace is a classy lady, so a box standard one won't cut the mustard. Sorry to be a pain, but I'm going to need a plus one version or better if I'm going to make it out of here alive. Even though I changed it. Oh, and don't even think of equipping it yourself. If she finds out a boy's had his grubby mitts all over her special whip, they'll be hell to pay. My life's in your hands, adventurer. For give me a whip. Forge me a whip fit for a queen. And let me make amends. Alright. Why? Why are you still out here? You're in your... In your peach. <laughs> oh my god, this game. Attention to detail. Hello again, traveler. Adventure. How's the forging coming along? Have you managed to make a queen's whip that'll meet Madame Wallop's ridiculously high standards yet? Yeah. Here you go. Wow, what a whip. There's no way Madame Wallop can complain about this little beauty. It is sure to get me off the hook. In fact, when she founds out what I did, she might reward me for throwing away her ratty old one when she sees this absolute corker. <laughs> Thank you, Adventure. I owe you one. Here, you should have these. Uh, I hit a little bit of a high note there. And there we go. Another quest complete. Woof. Now let's go in this little door. What is in here? It should be different from the academy. Or it's the academy side entry. No, this is a ship and inn? There's another quest in here. What? Pearl Boutique? Perfectionist pearls for a hundred G's? That's insane! Not bad, that's good! Nobody. Hypno Whip, Silver Tiara, Safety Goggles, Angel Bell. Oh, so if you guys didn't have the eyes, here are a few eyes that you can buy. <clears throat> so, all the girls are ready for bed, apparently. Let's see what she has for us. <clears throat> ah, you must be, you must be, voyagur, monzur medaille, told me of, I am Madame de Vo, de Bo, de Bo Vo. Vice Principal of the Academy, I could not read that, so I do apologize. I was studying the bookshelf in the bibliotheque the other day when I made a strange discovery. In among the old and dusty textbooks, I found a diary. Okay, so I have my foot up and I accidentally hit the L2 button. I, I keep doing that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I, I, I hate that any button could like scroll through chat instead of just X. Sorry about that. Mene um, oh my god, the both of I thought it was possibly left behind by an ex estudiant a estudiante estudiante a girl who had one study here. So I had a petite inside but what I found there was a Kurzu et in Kurisks. A very strange indeed. Tell me Voyager 
Will you help me get to the bottom of this little mystery? I have no idea what you said, but sure, let's... Do Merci for the zoo. Thank you very much, Vonalos. Let me tell you what was written in this journal. Here I will bury my memories. Where the shadow of the birch tree that we dream beneath the stretches of evening light. All that I left leave behind is for you, my dear friend. I may be merely it may be merely my imagination, but I cannot help thinking that this message is meant for me. When we were girls, my best friend and I would often sit on these wings beneath the old birch's branch and speak of what our lives would be like when we were grandest personas. If this message is from her, then I must know what it means, what is buried out there in the garden. I would go search myself, but alas, during the day I am busy with my work and at night I cannot see what I am thinking. If you would search the jardin in my stead, I would be très obliged, very grateful indeed, et bien. Allow me to read this message to you uncle un foyers. E I will bury my memories where the shadow of the birch pre that we dream beneath the stretches in the evening light. All that I leave behind, I leave to you my dearest friend. Oh my god, that accent is killing me. Please, enough. Oh my god. Oh, there's something shiny here. A memory box. That wasn't even buried. Let's go to the cafeteria and show her. Yo, this memory box was way closer than you. Easy to find. All right, here you go. Did you? Did you find in the Hardin? Yeah, let's show her the memory box. Here you go. You found these box? What is inside? I wonder. Let me have a little look. She opens the memory box and finds a red ribbon and a letter inside. She unfolds the letter and begins to read. By the time you read this, I will be far, far away. The crown prince of Heliodor has asked for my hand in marriage. I cannot refuse him. I am to be queen, so I cannot think only of my own happiness anymore. My kingdom and my people must come first. I am afraid that I will no longer be myself. But even though I may change, I will always carry the wonderful memories of the day we shared together in my heart. I will never forget you. So I beg you, dear friend, do not forget me. Remember the girl I was. Slowly but surely, the voice just kept changing by miracle. Remember the girl I was and Know that you will always be my ma mulier ami, mon ami soul, my best friend, my soulmate. Give you my ribbon as a token of our eternal friendship. You always said how much you liked it. Now it is yours. Ah, so it is true. It is a letter from her, my dearest friend. She was the prettiest girl in the school, la plus belle fille de l'académie. With long, beautiful black hair that she always tied in that bright red ribbon. On the day of our graduation, I learned she had to be married to the prince for a faraway kingdom. I felt so betrayed. We had such a terrible argument. That was the last time I saw her. I've heard she gave birth to a daughter, but was taken years soon after the child was born and passed away. <sighs> I've always regretted what happened that we should not have fought. She was happy, and I should have been happy for her. So many years have passed since those hours devoured. The dreamlike days we spent together, but I have thought of my bel ami every day since we said au revoir. Merci, Voyager. I thank you for bringing us together once more. Voila, take a ribbon as your reward. And my friend was Jane Fee. She wore it in her beautiful hair. But I was a no but I am a no woman now. I must follow her lead and let go of childish things. Let your companion wear it and say. She is Trebler too, with long black hair. 
Just that of my friend. I'm sure it will zook her just as much as it did my Benami. We received Belle's bow, which is basically Jade's mother. Stop, please. I'm trying to record. What is this? Um, this might be a mini metal location because of what it is. So if you guys know where this is, let me know in the comment section. I'll probably go grab it. If anyone knows where that is. Thank you. I'll try to find any interesting books here. Oh, recipe book. Fine and dandy designs. How to make smart suits, posh waistcoats, bling bling belts. Recipe book, next level clear. Stars of clarity, necklace of immunity, full moon collars. Rousing rose collars, make care reveres, torch of truth, protective pendants, chokers of riddance, docked collars, papillon pendants. Wow, okay. Oh, no. <sighs> so the silver ore was taken by a bird. Great. <sighs> Alright. Give me your quest. Hello, ma'am. Or, well, I was gonna say, or sir. This is only a girl academy. Where, oh, there she is. Oh there, my name's Priscilla, and I have a problem. A secret I can't tell any of my classmates. You look a tight-lipped sort of fellow. If I share my deepest, darkest secrets with you, will you promise not to tell anyone? Ooh, okay. It gives us a uniform. Mwah! Thank you so much. Now, have you heard of the Mini Mond? It's our school newsletter. Well, I heard Madame Cherie was starting a new column offering advice to Lovelorn, so I wrote a letter to ask her about my secret passion. But I'm afraid to read her answer. What if she says this, that he'll never be mine? My heart will break clean in two. That's why I need someone to read it for me. But I can't ask any of my classmates. They can never know the infallible depths of my desire. Which is where you come in. Could you go and read this month's issue of Le Mini Monde for me and see what Madame Cherie says I should do? You'll find it pinned up on the notice board in the gallery overlooking Monzu's Medaille study. If you can't see it, just ask Bastine, the editor. She's a hammerhead, so you should be able to spot easily enough. She'll be able to tell you where to find it. Sure. Are you the editor? I am Bastine, editor in chief newsletter. The mini monde. Not that hard, not that you'd know from this big base on the note. I just finished taking up this month's issue when it got caught, caught by the breeze and blew out the window. And to top it all off, it was the new, new, new format. Even it had an awaited Sherry Sherry column. Sherry Sherry column. Advice for Lovelorn from Madame Sherry herself. Were you hoping to. Get get advice from yourself? I'm sorry, but would you would take me far too long to reprint it. I've decided to rewrite this rewrite write right right to write right write this issue and start work on the next one instead. If you're absolutely desperate to read Madame Sherry column, you'll just have to hunt 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 down the one and only copy. It blew 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 away in the direction of the ear. I'll wager that some kind of monster has found a stuck suck um signpost somewhere. Why do you I think 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 that? Because it was a masterpiece, of course. Even the meanest monsters recognize its genius and want 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 to share with the whole world. Well, I decided to sleep and leave that for later, cause I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go there anyway. Now let's continue exploring all this. A mini metal right here. Wait, I thought that was a chest that I could grab. 
bling bling belt. Well, I think we have explored everything, so... Seeing what that big star is, I imagine this is where the headmaster is. And I'm sick. Okay, there we go. Ooh, excuse me, headmaster, but there are some pots that require my attention to break. Alright, what do you have to tell me? Ah, there you are. Now, you must allow me to aim myself properly. I am Maxime Medaille. Medaille. And this is my humble establishment, l'Academy de Notre Maître des Médailles, a school in which miniature ladies bloom to beautiful, full-grown flowers. Okay, not creepy As at all. part of the education, we encourage our pupils to journey through all the lands of Edrea and to gather the maximum number of mini medals they can find. As they hunt for medals, they immerse themselves in the cultures of the world and acquire at least a minimum of, uh, how you say, savoir-faire. But every so often, a born medal hunter comes along. I sense this in you. I see the most maximally adroit medal detector of my career before me. Okay. However, there is one miniature problem. The that academy is. is for young girls and young girls alone. Sadly, I cannot offer you a place here. Ah. Uh. But okay. does this mean I will allow such potential maximal to remain untapped? Your point being? No. Nope. By the power vested in me, I hereby enroll you as an honorary member of l'Academy de Notre Maître de Madaille. A word, dude. Now the... To the formalities. First of all, take this, your very own album medailles. De quoi? Was this you are saying? You already have an album de medailles from the miniature metal exam in Costa Valor? I knew it was one day to open that office. I have seen albums to able adventurers in the hopes of finding metal collectors maximal. And now I have found you. Now that you are enrolled as an honorary student of the Academy, I can give you access to the pool package for elite metal detectors only. Allow me to upgrade your album to its maximum capacity. Right. For each and every midi metal that you bring to me, I will add a mini school stamp to the album. And the more stamps you collect, the more maximally magnificent your rewards shall be. Now go on your man, your quest to collect the maximum number of medi medals officially be gone. Seek them out, pick them up and bring them to me. Alright, you're gonna give me, you brought me 70 mini medals. Yeah, that is about the amount we collected. Because it was 20 before. We got the uniform. Yeah, I'm not wearing that. 25. Kit fit for me. That's a recipe. How to make crowns of Dundrasil and Dracilian dress coats. Okay. Falcon blade. That's a one handed sword, right? Yeah. That's it. Wow. Mm -hmm. No, not 40, 50. Or 45? Who knows? Alright, so here we are. Chomp Savage. I mean, the eerie ire. I can't get up there. Okay. Guess this is one of the places that I can't. Ah, wait, 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 wait. There's a shiny one there, so I'm pretty sure we can get up there. Hey, you. 
group of rotten exoskeletons. Oh my god, everybody's... Why is everybody pepped up? What? Oh, by the way, I also equipped Jade with the ribbon and the one we got on DLC that gives us MP. And I perfected them to plus three. So we're getting nine MP every time. So that is good. And that was quick. Just because we can use her abilities just like that. Green eye. Look at that. Easy. All right. So where are the things? Ah, oh, here they are. Jump. Slipweed. Anything here? That was a chest, right? Wasn't there a chest? These enemies are really weak. Ah, but we have this. Oh! <laughs> hey. Dragon. I wanna fight dragon right I wanna fight dragons right now. Oh my! What was that damage? And why is everybody pepped? I don't remember going into battle and pepping them. That was easy. It? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I don't believe it. Aha! Found you. What do you have? Thunderball. Ooh, we didn't want to miss that. Oh, what? Looks like a tethered copy of some sort of school newsletter. What? That's kissy lips. <laughs> okay. Well, we got the... Can you grab it? Or are you just going to leave it there? I guess we just leave it there. Alright, heading onward. Through the cave that makes me feel like it's nighttime. Shiny over here. New enemies. Overtones. And they can flee. something up here. There we go. Ah, chest. Yep. A mini metal. Put down there. And I'll grab this. 5,000 gold coins. Ah, so I need one of these to go up. Okay. Because over there, I couldn't, right? Alright, new ride. There's the Meta Slime. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a chance to get your MP back. I don't know why I used Frizz, but okay, that was it. Strong medicine. Oh, let's go up. Alright, there should be something back here, right? You just don't have random stuff here. Ah, oh, yes, you do. A chest. 
Electrifying equipment. Lightning staves. Lightning lances. Ooh. That's good. And there's a campfire all the way. It's just all the way at the beginning. Lower the vine down from the branch? Yes. This actually makes a shortcut. Sweet. Always keeping an eye out. We need this, these things to progress. This is actually really, really fun and smart. A very smart way to include stuff. Right, we have more of these monsters. If you guys want, you can fight them. I do not want to fight them because they're not giving me any EXP. Well, we did find that. They will run away as soon as they see me. Ah, there's something. Anything? Yes, there is. As I just go through it. Prayer ring. That's our second one we get. Oh, I jumped down. Can I go back up? I am going the right way, right? I think so. What the... Was there... Hmm, did I miss something? I hope not. Ah. Charge chest in here. Another recipe. Pear crow's claws. Like this, I just go down. That chest, yeah, that chest is opened. I can lower this branch. Yep. There we go creates another shortcut. There's so many shortcuts. Oh, don't go down there. I think. Okay, I can't continue forward. There's a treasure chest here. Four files of magic water. Alright, I'll take those. And give me this. Ha! Ah, what are you doing here, human? If you're thinking of feathering your nest with my treasure, you've got another thing coming. Ha! Ah! Okay. You do know you are all gonna die, right? Sizzle? Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. Alright, um... Frostfang's on these two, so I can just kill them. Or they survive. That's frozen solid, anyway. Alright, uh, you are doing multi-trust on him. Let me use more heal. Well, mid-heal on Veronica would be fine. And now, get it over with a bang. Now you're alone. Ouch. Multi heal. 103. Oh, multi heal heals everybody, right? If I'm not mistaken. Take that. Mid heal for Veronica again. Some crackle on you. Oh yeah, I have oomph. I forgot. Multi-thrust it. Oh, that's a crit. Oh, you're going down. Or you're paralyzed. That works too, because you're dead. So now I'm getting your treasure, like I said. Veronica wins again. Four thousand thirty-one of a new spell, which is boom. Okay. Not bad. Jade level twenty-nine. I just keep getting. Veronica better. level thirty-one. Oomphal. Ah, oh, yes. 
everybody leveled up. Big earner awarded for acquiring a total of at least a hundred thousand gold coins. All right, give me this. The silver ore. Easy. Yes, we finally got our hands on the silver orb. Whoever would have thought we'd find it all the way up here? But don't rest your laurels yet, just just yet, Mitru. We can't stop searching till we found all six. Yeah, I know that. Thank you. Where am I going? I am going to zoom all the way to the campsite. Because I feel like we've already got everything. You found it, didn't you? Your trembling lips tell me. Have you found something important? Tell me what was Madame Cherie's advice. Repeats Madame Cherie's answer to Priscilla problems. So, I should share my secret with the target of my affection, should I? <laughs> I knew that she would say that. Which is why I told you all this in the first place. Well, do you see what I'm trying to tell you? Do the plaintive cries of my aching, breaking heart reach your ears? Yeah. I was visiting Mummy and Daddy back in Hellider when I first saw you racing through the long grass like a wild stallion. You looked at me and smiled. Ever since that moment, I have been a prisoner to my passion. I am yours, Michu, now and forever. Oh god. But you're in the middle of an adventure, aren't you? Well, don't worry about me for the time being. Let our love ripen, and it will taste all the sweeter when it's time for us to be together. Farewell now, my darling. Take this to remember me by- Oh, mwah! I got a uniform. And I got a kiss. I've never felt so- I'm leaving! I feel violated, she just kissed me with no reason. Even, well, I did kind of say yes. I had no idea what I was saying yes to, but okay. All right, now that we got that question out of the way, we shall end the episode here. Pretty good time we explored the account we beat a dungeon and we got an orb and next time we are going to explore like i said phnom known or whatever it's called anyway if you guys are enjoying these videos like i am please leave a like and share to help with that pesky youtube algorithm subscribe to become part of moonlight army today hit that bell icon to be notified when i upload a new video and if you guys want to stalk me on my social media, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.